we have been discussing about the chemical kinetics of uh, different order reactions like first order, second order, zero order reactions, etc. And in all these cases, we have uh, derived the integrated rate equation. Now, in this video, I shall brief you on how to arrive at the integrated rate equation for nth order reaction, where n is greater than 1. So, the uh, equation which we arrive at will be, can be used for all the reactions whose order is uh, not 0 and 1. So, for 0 and 1, we have to specifically use the integrated rate expression for uh, those particular order reaction, but for 2 and above, 2, 3, 4 in any order, we can use the equation which we are going to arrive at. Now, let us consider an n order reaction, n a given P product, okay, and involving only one particular reactor, only one reactor is involved. This is for simplicity that we have, uh, uh, what is it, uh, we are assuming that the reaction involves only one particular reactor. Now, the usual assumptions we will take, like that is the initial concentration of the uh, reactant will be A moles per liter and X moles of the uh, re reactant would have reacted after time T to form the product P and hence the concentration of the uh, reactant at time T will be A minus X moles per liter. Okay, we will keep all these in our mind uh, to move forward for deriving the integrated rate expression. Now, the rate expression or rate equation can be written as rate equal to uh, minus d into a minus x by dt in terms of the reactant. It is equal to k into a minus x to the whole to the power of n where n is the order of the reaction. And uh, you can even write it in terms of the product dx by dt equal to k into a minus x to the power of n. Okay, we can uh, just rearrange equation 2. We will get dx by uh, a, a minus x to the power of n equal to k dt, that's equation 3. If we can integrate that equation, okay, on integrating equation 3, you get equation 5, okay, and that is the integrated rate equation for nth order reaction. Here you have equation 5, k equal to 1 by t into n minus 1 into 1 by a minus x to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 by a raised to n minus 1. So that is the integrated rate equation for nth order reaction. Now, this particular e equation, number 5, can be uh, rewritten as 1 by k equal to 1 by t into n minus 1 into 1 by ct raised to n minus 1 minus 1 by c0 raised to n minus 1, where ct is the concentration of the reactant at time t equal to a minus x, and c0 is the initial concentration of the reactant equal to k. Alright, now from this uh, expression, uh, this expression we can uh, arrive at the general uh, equation for the unit of rate constant K and that is moles per liter in raised to n minus 1 into second n minus 1. So this is the general expression for the, uh, to arrive at the unit of the rate constant. This is uh, applicable for all other reactions from 0 to n. Okay, for zero order reactions, for first order reaction, for every order reaction, you can apply this particular equation to get a unit of K. But remember, this particular general equation is applicable only to those reactions from with order 2 and above. 0 and 1, you cannot apply this. Alright, now uh, let us look at the half life period of the nth order reaction, the T half. We shall arrive at the equation for T half. You know half life period is nothing but the time taken for the completion of half of the reaction or the time taken for the conversion of the reactant concentration to half of its initial concentration. We have the general expression, integrated rate equation, k equal to 1 by t into n minus 1 into 1 by a minus 6 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 by a raised to n minus 1. Now, when t is equal to t half, x will be equal to a by 2. And we can substitute for t as t half and for x as a by 2 in equation 5. We will get the uh, expression t half equal to 1 by k into n minus 1 into 1 by a by 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 by a raised to n minus 1. Okay, we can sim further simplify this particular 
uh, reaction, I'm sorry, equation, equation 7, we can simplify that and we'll get equation 7. Further uh, uh, simplification of equation 7, we'll get equation 8, that is t half equal to 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 divided by k into n minus 1 into a raised to n minus 1. Alright, so that is the expression for t half of an nth order reaction, half size period of an nth order reaction. Now, from this it is clear that the half life period of the nth order reaction is proportional, inversely proportional to n minus 1 power of the initial concentration of the reactant. So in the second order reaction we have seen it is inversely proportional to n minus 1. n minus 1 in the sense if it is a second order it will be 2 minus 1, it will be 1. So the second order reaction T half is inversely proportional to the initial concentration of the reactant. Alright, and uh, you can put it as T half is proportional to 1 by A raised to N minus 1. That is the uh, proportional, I mean, uh, general expression for T half. Now, let us take up third order reaction as the example to apply this and, uh, I mean, the integrated rate equation and let us see how, uh, I mean, what is the expression which we get. Now, we have the general equation for nth order reaction 1 by t into n minus 1 into 1 by c t n minus 1 minus 1 by c 0 n minus 1. If you substitute for n equal to 3, then you arrive at the equation k equal to 1 by 2 t into 1 by c t square minus 1 by c 0 square. And this is the integrated rate equation for third order reaction. Similarly, we can arrive at the unit of k for a third order reaction, instead of n in the general equation, we put there 3. Okay, so the unit of the rate constant k is mole square, little inverse 2, second inverse 1. And then finally, the expression for t half. The general expression is t half equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 minus 1 divided by k into n minus 1 into a the whole power n minus 1. Okay, you can substitute for n equal to 3, you get t half equal to 3 by 2 k a square. Okay, that is the um, expression for half life period of a third order reaction. Now, let us see the graphical representation of a third order reaction. You have the x-axis, you have the y-axis. Okay, in x-axis you mark time, in y-axis here we are marking 1 by a minus 6 to the whole power 2. Okay. So that's the uh, uh, plot. We are going to plot for a third order reaction. And when you plot it, what you get is a straight line with an intercept. Okay. And the slope of the straight line will give you the value of 2k. Okay. Twice the rate constant, the slope of this uh, plot. Plot of 1 by a minus x to whole square or 1 by ct square versus time. The intercept will be are uh, equal to 1 by a square or 1 by c0 square, that is 1 by the initial concentration of the reactant to the whole power 2. Okay, so that is the, uh, uh, what we call plot of 1 divided by 1 by a minus 6 a whole square or 1 by ct square against time for a third order reaction. So we have for different plots for first order, second order, third order, third order reaction. And everywhere what you have to understand, remember is the uh, terms which we take in the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, for each and every type order of the reaction, we are taking different, uh, uh, different parameters on the y-axis. Okay, and the x-axis always it remains as time. Okay, so that's a plot for the third order reaction. So, hope it is clear to you the integrated rate expression for nth order reaction and also for the uh, third order reaction. Now, few exam one of the examples of third order reactions I am mentioning here, just for your uh, information. Here you have uh, the formation of uh, NO2 gas from nitric oxide and oxygen. It's a third order reaction. The rate expression depends upon uh, the nitric oxide and oxygen concentration, some of the powers is 2. Similarly, formation of NaCl. Okay, here it is, the rate is uh, 
uh, dependent on uh, the rate law, in the rate law you get the uh, concentration terms of both NO and Cl2 and the sum of the concentration, powers of the concentration terms is 3. Okay, so this is the examples for third order reaction. Hope this much is clear to you. If you have any more clarifications, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.